I actually wanted to buy my dad a nice little rifle scope for his Father's Day gift. And I was looking at around the $200 price range, maybe a little bit less. But I wanted it to be a quality piece, maybe something better than some of the cheap Bushnells, definitely better than a BSA, you know, quality. Something he'd actually really enjoy. And, you know, coming down, researching it, I knew for a fact Loophold and Redfield had nice scopes. And so how do you decide? They're actually kind of closely priced. Well, I actually have both of them, and I'd like to show you as many differences as I could find out. I've done separate, they're not really reviews, but they're kind of like initial impressions and unboxings and looking through the scopes of each one individually. So if you'd like to see more information about each scope, feel free to check those videos out. I do it just to help you. Most stores, I would say, will charge a premium for the loophole. I mean, you kind of already figure that, right? And so, if that's the case, well, what exactly are you getting that's better than the Redfield? In terms of pricing, I bought both of these from b &H Photo in June of 2017. The Redfield was $166. And for that, I got free expedited shipping and, actually, eye protection. The loophole, $3 more. And again, expedited shipping and eye protection. So the loophole was $3 more. Yeah, not much of a difference. Now, the big differences were the loophole had nice rubber scope caps, the bikini style. I mean, that alone is probably 10 bucks right there. Because if I had to get scope covers for the Redfield, which if I was going to keep it, I would, I'd probably be spending 10 or $20, about there. So, okay, when you factor that in, well, now the loophole seems like a much better value. But then you got to factor in the reticles. The loophole is just a duplex, while the Redfield is their AccuRange. If you really want that AccuRange type in the loophole, they offer something called, I believe it's their long range reticle, similar. And okay, maybe then you're paying really 20 or $30 more for the loophole, so okay, maybe it's a wash, all things considered, but if you're okay with going with the duplex reticle on the loophole, you get the scope caps, $3 more, you're getting slightly lighter, slightly shorter, same lifetime warranties, except one's backed by Loophold, one's by Redfield. And if I had to put money on it, I'd say for, I'd say Loophold's going to be around longer, if any, you know. And yeah, but besides that, optically they're great. Not a whole lot of difference. Not a whole lot of difference. If you picked either one, you've got a great value. Both of these are awesome at their prices. If I had to pick, I'm going to pick the loophole. I like the way it looks better. It feels smoother. I mean, that's not relevant, but I just like it. I think it's a little bit better package. And for $3 more with the scope caps, yeah, I like it. Up at the top is the loophole. On the bottom is the Redfield. One of the differences that I notice optically is with the anti-reflective coatings on the last lens of the eyepiece. The loophole reflects back blues and purples, whereas the red field reflects back blues and purples, as well as a little bit of green you can see down there. And so I would give the edge ever so slightly to the loophole. Looking through it, it seems to reflect back a little bit less perceived light. Another big difference is the magnification rings. Again, Redfield's in my left hand, loophole in the right. This ring has a detent to push and to grab hold of, and it's got checkered knurling, whereas the loophole has ridges and a lip to help grab onto. In 
turret caps, they're roughly the same thing. Underneath the turrets, they're essentially the same thing. The loop holds are ever so slightly smoother, but I don't know if that's just variations in manufacturing. This is the Redfield. It has pretty much the same dial, just in a gray color, gray on black. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I don't want to cross-thread this. There we go. I do find that the loop holds are a little bit easier to screw down the caps. I don't know if it's just in my head. And same sort of dial, just in gold. Which is pretty cool. I like the gold. Goldish color. Ah, uh, see, probably what's in my head. They're about the same. Probably exactly the same. The objective. With the Redfield, you get that nice little Redfield logo. And with the loophole, you get that nice little gold ring. I mean, at this point, it's just cosmetic, really. Do you like the Redfield logo or the Loophole lo logo? They're so close. One last little difference is the eyepiece on the Loophole is smooth, whereas the eyepiece here to adjust the dioptic corrector has little knurls. And that's about it. Those are the only real big differences that I've seen. So, we're at 3 currently, and I'm going to start off by going straight to 9. There's the nine times. And I'm going to work my way back down to three. Okay. Three times. He had a cottontail rabbit scope set nine times magnification, the red field. To give you a little bit of an idea of perspective and field of view. In summary, if this was apples and apples, which it's almost, it really almost is, uh, I'd go for the loophole. For three bucks more, you're getting the fancier, I think fancier scope. Feels a little bit smoother. I like the way it operates. It's got that brand recognition. Lifetime warranty, which I believe they're going to be around for a while. And for three bucks more, it came with that nice rubber scope caps, whereas this I'd have to go out and I might be paying 10 20 dollars for scope caps either is amazing value the optics you get whoa my dad has a little Nikon comparable to this these these just uh, outclass it for the same price I don't know if this video is going to be helpful um I didn't see a whole lot of people comparing the two even though they're pretty darn comparable I bet you there's a lot of people that don't know which one to go with. Um, if you can find this for a competitive price, I'd say get the loophole. That's what I'd do. Hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them and I'll try and answer them if I can. Have a wonderful day, guys.